Hey, what's going on guys? This is Leon here, and today I have some Team Fortress 2 gameplay for you guys. This time I'm playing as a spy, which I uh, normally don't play as. I'm not a big spy uh, fan. I, I like using the pyro and uh, the uh, soldier and maybe sometimes scout class. But uh, I got to use the spy class and once in a while I did good with it. This is the time where I actually did pretty decent with the spy class. And I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to play this map, and Spy in particular. I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to uh, how to get behind your enemy's team, and what's the best tactic to use, pretty much, that I use. I'm not, I'm a complete noob at this game, and the reason why I'm giving you guys tactics is for all of those who just got this game for free, and for for the newcomers to this game, um, if you guys want to learn how to play as a Spy, because it's actually a pretty fun class to play as. Uh, it'll probably help you at some point, uh, but um, if you guys are already uh, somewhat of a uh, experienced spy player, you can just watch and enjoy the gameplay if you want. So the first thing I wanted to say is that uh, you have the disguise kit, and what a disguise kit does it uh, it lets the spy uh, take a form of any class, allow uh, allowing him to get sneak uh, behind the enemy's team. Uh, so basically, you could choose whatever class you want to take that uh, for example I'm on the blue team and you use the disguise disguise kit and you switch into a enemy soldier for example and um, the best way to do this I, I don't do this in this video but the best way to do this is to um, stealthily move to their spawn and when you see uh, about two or three people come out just disguise to a, a different player and follow them behind until they reach to a point where they stop or where they are trying to kill someone and they're not paying attention uh, of what's going on behind them so you just go back to your normal character and you uh, knife them in the back which is the best way to take off the enemy's team spy is mostly a distraction type of class just like a uh, pyro uh, just because the spy could sneak up behind the enemy's team like i said before and and try to distract them while your teammates are trying to capture the control point and uh, move move up closer to your enemy's spawn so you guys don't let them come out of their spawn and and try to keep them away from the control point as best as you can so right here as you guys could see I'm going back and forth to my spawn and to the control point because not that many people are coming closer to our spawn and not that many of them are capturing the control point so what I start doing um, soon in the video I'm gonna start pushing towards their spawn so whenever we are um, pretty confident about our control point and we see that not, there, not that many of them start pushing towards the control point, our team starts pushing towards their spawn because um, we don't want them anywhere near our spawn and we, don't, we also don't want them anywhere near the control point. So our best tactic would be to just go to their spawn and just keep them there. As you guys could tell, uh, in this in this video, I'm using the standard revolver uh, with a standard knife and uh, standard electro sapper, and also the disguise kit. And the reason why I'm using the standard uh, revolver and the standard knife is because the standard knife is pretty much the best one out of all the knives you can get. If you like fancy stuff and you want some fancy knives that look nice and stuff like that, you might want to go with uh, with the Conover's Kunai or your uh, Eternal Reward knife that you can craft or someone could gift it to you or you just can find it somewhere but uh, I recommend going with the standard knife just because it's your best choice pretty much in my opinion but um, about your primary weapon I'm using the standard revolver just because I do not have any other primary weapon due to the lack of me playing as a spy but if I had a choice of uh, whether which primary weapon I want to use as a spy, it would probably be either the the Litranger, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but uh, I think it's pronounced Litranger or Litranger, since it's French, or Litranger, or some stuff like that, <laughs> I don't even know dude, but I would not use the Ambassador, uh, just because it's, it's really uh, accurate when you have a headshot and it takes off pretty high uh, damage when you get a headshot and it, it's it has a shorter cooldown and stuff like that but I wouldn't use it just because uh, the it has a little bit less damage than the standard revolver or the Latrain jar have 
There's also the Enforcer weapon, um, which is probably the best weapon you can probably use. It, it has 48 damage base, 48 base damage, and 144 crit damage. And it has a 0 0.5 second increase in time taken to a uh, cloak plus 20% damage dealt. So I would I would definitely go with the Enforcer, but since it's pretty hard to find and you need to play as a spy for quite a long time, I would definitely go with the Revolver or the Electron Jar. So as you guys could see right here, we're uh, we're kind of starting to push to their spawn, and I'm pretty much in their spawn right now. Uh, going to cloak and back to normal trying to kill as many people as I can and right here as you guys can see I just killed this demo man or end this pyro um, and this game is is pretty much over it's almost over uh, as you guys can see they cannot get out of their spawn just because we have a pyro in front of their spawn we also have um, we have a uh, heavy on the other side with a medic healing it or uber charging it so whenever someone comes out it takes them out really really quickly so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope my little tips helped uh, whoever is new to this game and wants to get a little bit better at playing a spy. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later.